Okay, Monday morning we've come out of the clouds all the way down here on this ridge. Uh, a little precept last night up there. Dry trail down here. So I think whatever came through, I could see it on the satellite. Uh, it's working its way through here. And that green way down there is Acton KOA land. Close to it anyway. So we just uh, started out from camp in kind of full rain gear, not really knowing, but we've since uh, taken layers off and it's about 60 degrees. Good hiking weather. And uh, you can see the trail maybe way down there. I'm just going to work this both sides of this canyon down. But a uh, little stop at the KOA and then bounce over those hills toward Aquadulce this afternoon. So yeah, it's good. Well, we uh, just finished the uh, last climb of any significance and uh, Acton KOA is down in the valley there. And we've got Nana Minor, not a minor, and Prometheus ahead. Fake news went on in early to take care of an errand. So hopefully we'll see him later. But looks like the weather's breaking up. Blue sky. Oh, what a difference from last year. So much better. Having an appetite. Managing the hike, staying at North Fork last night. Yeah. Big difference. And the uh, trail goes up through those rocks there and over the top into Aqua Dulce. So up those hills to the right of that knob up there is the first part of the section into Aqua Dulce from Acton KOA. And this is the back door entry into the Acton KOA uh, where you've got uh, probably full-time people living here and, and then some uh, folks coming in for short stays. And uh, there's an access trail that uh, comes over that way, crosses railroad tracks. And off you go to Aqua Dulce. And there's the Metrolink coming by. Commuter train from Lancaster. Just leaving the Acton KOA where we took a, a little break here. And uh, they have lawn camping for 15 bucks there. The pool is open, apparently. Bathrooms. And the trail is up near that knobby rock. On the way to uh, Hiker Heaven. So we're uh, probably a couple miles in. Just finished the first uphill. We're in a transition zone in between the two. And then uh, in a little while we'll start to see I-14 freeway, which will go under into Vasquez Rocks. So we have the three of us here, Nada Minor and Prometheus and me. Uh, fake news is running an errand. He'll be catching up a little bit. So, pretty good day for hiking. Just topped out on the second of two climbs, descending now in the direction of 
Vasquez rocks, which are just over that ridge in front of the camera, uh, just on the other side of I-14. So, cool and breezy right now, but feels good. Oh, it's 1.30, and we're approaching the culvert under the I-14 freeway. Once we uh, get to the other side of that culvert, we'll be entering Vasquez Rocks. My favorite movie shoot location in the Hollywooders. So, some of Vasquez Rocks here. Canyon part. We'll go up a uh, an incline down the line here, and there'll be probably what most people recognize from TV shows and whatnot. But yeah. Definitely unusual formations. Two thirty, entering Agua Dulce. It's the road straight ahead down there to the restaurants and store, followed by a left turn up to Hiker Heaven. Beat the rain. So made it to the Softly's Hiker Heaven, and uh, this is one boatload of hikers here, more than I've ever seen by far. Uh, triple, quadruple the number of past years. Amazing that they can uh, handle all these folks, but they do. So over here is a, kind of the hiker trailer, shower, kitchen, TV. They've got a, a Class C over here that and have some people no and I'm standing on the back porch of the house but they have it really dialed in and they've had it uh, had it this way for many years so good on them.